our learning target today is for us to think about reading strategies we use when we come to an unknown word. So before we even get started, I'm wondering what do you do when you come to a word, even if it's a just right book, you're gonna come to words that you don't know. I still come to words I don't know in my books. And especially if you're reading nonfiction, you see a lot of words you've never seen before. So what do you do as a reader? Anyone wanna raise their hand and share? What are some strategies you use to help you when you don't know a word? It's been a while since we've been in school, but think about it. As you've been reading, think about epic. Madison, what is something you do? Um, sometimes I try to think, like if I don't know a word, I try to think about it and like try to like spell it out. And if I still don't get it, then I just move on and try to read more and see if I understand the word. You just came up with three strategies. Actually, you probably didn't even realize that you just told me you think about it, which means you think about what makes sense. You sound it out, you said spell it out, but I think you meant sound it out, like what sounds do those letters make? And then skip the word and keep going to use the words around it to help you. Fabulous, thank you for sharing that. Did anyone else wanna share before we move on with this lesson? Okay, then I am gonna share something that I think you will enjoy. It is a video of my daughter who's now 14, she's in high school, but this is when she was little learning to read. And as you are watching the video, I want you to be thinking about what is she doing to figure out the words, okay? So let's see if I can find that video. She would be very embarrassed if she knew I was sharing this with you, but we won't tell her. Shh. Go back and read it. They are funny and kind, and we allow uh, always. Looking at your picture, please. Oops, sorry. Skip it if you need to. Tug. Here to go. There it is. Sorry about that. Okay, so think back. Laugh. Good girl. Now read the whole thing again. Jack and Gus. They are funny and kind. And we always laugh together. Excellent. I like, I think it's sweet when they Call me. What did they call her? Cinderella, right? Mm hmm Good girl. Think Jack about what strategies she's using. Also always here when I need them. Not long ago. Main step. Main. Main. Good girl. Step mother. And step sisters. Jack and Gus. Thank you. 
Her brother walked in the room. She was not happy. <laughs> Inside. Where were you? You said Jack and Gus have plenty of advice. But look, nice. look at that word again. That makes sense. I can hear him. I took my headphones off. I asked. I, what's this word? I what? Of. Your fear of I d We have plenty of I ideas. Much better. I can. Keep reading me. I. Always count on them to give me a There you go, you must have skipped all five. Sometimes the their advice make makes me giggle. Gotcha. Okay. So now I'm gonna X out of that. I want to hear, and I'm gonna write down your ideas. I wanna hear what strategies did you hear her or watch her do as she was reading? So these are, this is what I heard from Madison, right? Madison came up with these ideas. Think about it, sound it out, skip the word. What were some of the things you saw Aaliyah do as she's trying to figure out these words? Let's see, I'd like to hear from Isabella. What did you hear her do or see her do? Um, what I saw her do is um, uh, she had a bookmark and she read line by line. Yes, and you, some of you are past that, but some of us still need to do that, especially if the print is small. A bookmark helps you it's when you're using uh, chapter books. So I gave all of you two brand new bookmarks in your book bin. So um, if you are an online learner, remote learner, you got them in your, your bag of goodies. If you haven't picked those up yet, you'll get those. So the bookmarks are very helpful. Bookmark to help you keep you know, where you are in the book. Other strategies that you saw. Let's see, Finn, what did you see her do? Make sure you unmute so I can hear you. I saw her going to the words ahead to see if it, the word that she said made sense. Okay, so what makes sense? Use the, I like that. What makes sense? Or use the words around it? Yeah, they. Okay, thank you for sharing. How about August? What else did you see her do? I saw if she didn't read. I saw if she didn't get the word correct, she would always try to recorrect herself and figure out what the word was. I'm glad you said that, August, because sometimes I see, as a teacher, I see kids just blow over the word and like pretend it wasn't even there. Like that is a strategy to skip it and then go back to it. But sometimes kids just like make up another word and then they never like think about it. So that's important that you actually try, right? Try yeah. to figure out the words. We wanna figure those out. Try to figure out the words because if you don't, then you're gonna lose meaning. You're not gonna understand your book. And I find it, I read when I'm reading, if I don't know a word, I usually ask my husband because he knows a lot of words. Um, and if he can't tell me, I use the words around it and try to figure it out. And then if, I, if he, that doesn't work, I will get a dictionary. And that is how I figure it out sometimes. I wanna tell you what I see in the chat box. Um, Elena said, sound it out. Yeah, Madison said that too, but we saw her do that. You're right, Elena. Sound out the letters. That doesn't always work because we have um, the English language is a little but um, sounding it out 
will help, especially getting that beginning sound and end sound. And then I saw Cole said, break it up. That's, I call that um, chunking, word chunking. She was taking little parts of the word. Break it up, word chunking. I'm gonna ask you to do that sometimes when you're reading with me. Uh, Serene, birthday girl, what else? I'm having trouble hearing you. I'm not sure why. Can you get a little closer? Shoot, we can't hear you. So you're going to have to write it in the chat box. I'm not sure why something's going on with your computer. Darn. All right. Um, Jensen, is there any other strategy you saw that she did or used? I saw that she was um like breaking words up and making um making them sound right excellent one thing i noticed that she did too is she reread how many of you do that give me a thumbs up if sometimes you just go back and read so you get it right because the first time it was like a mess i do that as a teacher you'll hear me say oh blah, blah, blah. i gotta start over Go back and reread, and then sometimes you can think about, again, think about what makes sense, use the words around it, and then you'll figure it out. It doesn't matter what level of book you are reading, all of these strategies will help you. So I'm gonna go through the strategies again. So Haley, I don't see you, honey. Haley, can you unmute to tell me you're here? There you are, okay, sweetie, thank you. I have a couple more chats. Let's see what else. Henrik, um, the chat is just for questions and comments. So if you can please just write what you're, what's in that chat, that would be great. Thank you. Okay. So now I'm going to show you a toolkit. This is the toolkit. I would have you make one if you were here, but. Um, I'll have some of these in the classroom. Here's some strategies. I call them reading tools because, and I'll try to get that glare off. Here's the one we didn't talk about, guess and go on. Sometimes you have to guess and go on if you don't have any other tools. Sometimes you have to ask a friend. Those are like the last things you should do because you wanna make sure you use the sounds of the first letters first. Look it up in a dictionary. Here's another tool, go back and reread. And you can notice these are actually like tools. Uh, here's one, use the words around it. We talked about that. If your book has pictures, you can use your picture clues. We don't always have picture books in third grade, but sometimes put another word in its place, especially with names. Sometimes you come across a name and it's so hard to pronounce that you could just say, okay, we're gonna call him Bob because you can't pronounce it, something easy. Skip the word and keep going. You guys mentioned that. Here's another tool, think of a word that makes sense. You mentioned that. So lots of different ideas. I have a couple more that I didn't mention. Sometimes you have to stop and think. Does it look right? Does that sound right? Does it make sense? And that's what I think Finn was saying. Like she actually didn't just go past it. She stopped to make sure she could figure it out. One that's not on here unless I, oh, I have it right here. This one I love. This is called flex or flip the vowel. Try all sounds the vowel makes. So hopefully you guys remember from second grade, like if I had the word, um, Obviously, you know this word, right? Everyone say it. Bat, right? Bat. But say you were a beginning you reader and you, you said bait. That would be the long A, right? And that wouldn't be correct. If I said, I saw a bait flying in the sky. If that was the sentence, that wouldn't work. So you'd have, you would say, huh, that doesn't make sense. So you would try to, you would flip that vowel and make it a short vowel. And instead you would say, okay, if it's not, I saw a bait flying in the sky, I saw a bat flying in the sky. 
So sometimes flipping a vowel is all you need to do. And that will help you. Okay, so even if you're reading much larger words, more with multi-syllables, you can break it, word chunk it, like Cole said, and look at each section. Um, like even if you had this word, right? Mm, if I wasn't sure about that and I said mere mad, and I would say, what's a mere mad? That doesn't make sense. And then I look at the first chunk, it's not mere, it's, and it's not mare, mare mad. I would know my ER makes that er sound, right? Mer, and then I have a, a vowel cluster here, AI, two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking, so I would say that's long. I'm gonna flip that vowel instead of saying mer mad, I'm gonna say mer made. So break your syllables up. You could have a three syllable word. You could have what syllable, right? So, well, here's sill. Let's break, let's try that one again. Syllable, syllable, syllable. You wanna break up your words. <laughs> With your vowel, you get to things you don't. Mute. So on a cooking. I can tell someone's not muted. I appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to X out of the strategies we talked about, but then I want to show you in Google Classroom for today, your assignment goes exactly with what we're talking about. Let me go back to that. Reading strategies, it's titled Thursday. Today's Thursday at 11.30. That's our lesson now. Here are the directions. It says to join and participate in the live lesson at 11.30. Then today you get to read a book of your choice. You can read a real book from your home library, or if you don't have any books at, you know, at your disposal, then go into Epic and pick out a book, but make sure it is just right. You do not, let me repeat that, do not have to read an assigned book today. It is your choice. I'd like you to read for 20 minutes, and when you're finished, you're going to fill out the Google form below. So if you forgot how to get into Epic or you needed the code, I put the code on here for you. There it is. I think most of you don't need that anymore. Um, you're going to go into your student login. You'll just click on the link. I have it posted for you. If here, if it says select your class, you can just go right to it and the people, your name should come up. And then you can find, here you guys are, like Angelique, I can click on hers, you can explore. You do have a book assigned for tomorrow. Just X out of that, you're not gonna read that today. It'll stay in your mailbox. Here's what's kind of fun. You can explore. We're on the explore mode. Up here, you'll see where it says explore. And you can find a book of your choice, okay? So after you do that, then you have a Google form. Here's the question. Here are the questions on your Google form today. For sure, you want to put your name. And then I just want to know, which strategy did you use the most while reading today? Did you go back and reread if you didn't know a word? Did you sound out the letters? Did you skip it and go back? Did you chunk the word? Did you think about what makes sense or did you flip the vowel? And if you are gonna say, I didn't do anything, then my response to you would be, then your book was too easy. You wanna read a just right book. Remember, just right book has some words you don't know. So if you get into Epic and you pick a book and you find it's too easy, make sure you switch to a, a harder book. They have levels on there too. Then the last question, you only have really three questions and one of them is your name. The third question is, which strategy do you prefer or like using the most? Like, do you have a favorite one, the, your go-to, the one you use the most? If you do, and I'm gonna ask that you pick one, they're the same strategies. Go back and reread, sound out the letters, skip it and go back, chunk the word, think about what makes sense, flip the vowel. And then 
Once you have done that, you're gonna click submit and I'll see everybody's answer. And I'd love to make like a graph to see what is her favorite st reading strategy as a class, as a third grade. So that will be kind of cool. All right, I think that that's pretty self-explanatory there in your assignment, but I will take questions. Let me get, go ahead and stop sharing. 